All right, so much to catch you up on. As you know, our main character has left behind everything they know to be transported to a distant land. But will Alexander ever fully commit to Carrie? Will her column be as popular in Chic Paris as it was in Anything Goes New York City? Meanwhile, Charlotte's managed to hide her string of murders, but the police are closed. Hang on. Oh, right. I'm updating you on something far less culturally relevant. Usador and Chunt are trapped in the past. But I do have more cassette tapes recorded by a 13-year-old Arnie in Ohio in 1989. And you know me, I can't spend much time around recorded audio without giving it a spin, which caused no small amount of trouble when I was working for the Washington Post during the Nixon administration. Let's just dust off this case and have a listen. from Ohio. It's the Arnie Niekamp Show. I'm Arnie Niekamp, and I am joined by my new co-hosts, Chunk the Talking Skunk. Ooh, that's good nicotine. Wow, Arnie, I gotta know what happens to your energy eventually. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Uh, oh, yeah, baby, it's me, Chunk the Talking Skunk. And I'm also joined by... He's a wizard. He's a big old guy. Usador the wizard. I am Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delight. Why, why are those men in the uniform staring at us? Everyone's staring at us. Yeah, maybe you're being a little bit too loud. Oh, also, this is our first remote episode. Instead of recording in my bedroom, we're walking around the Meyer Superstore. Which is a fun thing that cool kids do. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's it's very bright in here. Uh, I've never bright. seen so many lights. Ooh, Arnie, I know what I want to do here. Um, uh, this may not make sense, but older Arnie always talks about how he loves the soda at Meyer. He's always going on and on about soda Meyer. Uh, him and his friend Sonia always drinking soda at Meyer. I mean, I haven't had the generic brands of soda here at Meyer, but oh, again, maybe future old- me knows something that I don't know. Yeah, Future You is almost like a sexual fantasy talking about the soda at Meyer. It's really intense. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, Chunk, don't say these embarrassing things about me. Don't embarrass me in front of the Meyer workers. <laughs> the Meyer elite? Yeah. Can I ask, Arnie, it's kind of annoying. I, I'm trying to get a hang of Earth, and I'm trying to get a hang of Ohio, but anytime I go to spell Ohio, I'll say O-H, and then somebody else says the rest. It's really quite annoying. I mean, it's just part of our friendly way of being. Huh. Try it. O H, I O. Nah, I Did guess it's, I guess it's fine. Can we buy this wine? Well, I mean, I can. I'm not old enough. Do you have money? I mean, I have a, a little bit of money. How much? I got like seven bucks. Give it to us. No. Seven dollars enough to buy more of this wine. I um, I have already reserved this money to rent three movies tonight. Uh. After this, we're gonna go. We're gonna rent. Caddyshack 2, Poltergeist 3, and Iron Eagles 2. Does every Earth movie have a number in it? The good ones do. How are you so bad at math? Arnie, uh, listen, we could, we could do that, but you promised me that you would buy me more scratch-off tickets. I gotta have my scratch-offs. Chunk, you've only been here a week and you're already addicted to scratchers. Yeah, and I've already won 55 fucking dollars and lost 78. Language. Uh, sorry. Uh, and don't forget... You'll needs pick a fourth movie, for I have enchanted the video store to give you four movies for the price of three. Oh, wow, that's right. I kind of want to rent Phantasm 2, but I'm kind of scared. Oh, I am too. I saw the cover of that one this week. It looks terrifying. It's got a scary cover. Have I ever mentioned that most of my nightmares are about scary VHS covers? I didn't realize that. Uh, Can we rent The Last Unicorn? Too scary. How about, um, how about that one with Clint Howard called Ice Cream Man? I like ice cream. Well, let's give it a try. Can we rent that movie Wizards? Wizards? Yes, there was an animated movie I saw just called Wizards. 
Uh, you know what? It's probably not a good idea for a wizard to watch a movie called Wizards. It's just like how lawyers, when they watch L.A. Law, they're always just sort of like, that's not how it works. I'd never fall down that elevator shaft. Yeah, I want to figure out what these dumb idiots on Earth think wizards are. Hey, Arnie. Yeah? What's the difference between big and big business? Well, one of them is the best movie I've ever seen, and the other is big. <laughs> gotta say, Lily Tomlin and I think Ben Midler. I gotta yeah. say, I when we first got here, I didn't think, but but now I love watching VHS tapes. Arnie, I'm learning so much about Earth pop culture, and I feel like in some way that'll help me. Sure, I'm, I'm sure it will, and we have the best pop culture here. Speaking of pop, let's get that soda. Okay, make our way down the aisle here. Hello. Hello, no need to stare. So yeah. how many things do we have to buy while we're here? That's yeah, a great like, thing. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, guys? Uh, uh, hello? Excuse us, uh, did you need something, sir? Well, yeah, I, uh, wanted to have a, just a little bit of a chat with you guys here. Um, <clears throat> my name is Lance. I'm an associate here at Meyer. Uh, and... At this hour, I have been deputized as an assistant manager as well, and um, not trying to be like a buzzkill or anything like that, but I have noticed you guys meandering about for quite a while, and I just wanted to, you know, in a friendly way, come and inquire about what's going on, what's going on with you guys. Oh, well, nothing out uh, of the ordinary, Lance. Yeah. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, uh -huh. Of course, I'm just an older man with this uh, teenage boy and a small animal. Yeah, we did notice that. And so, again, I'm just here to just check it out and see how everything's going. Um, Every, everything's going swimmingly. Why don't you walk and talk with us for a while? Yeah, I'm walking around and I'm uh, recording my late night talk show that I'm going to have someday in a, with okay. this tape recorder. Yeah, right. Well, we saw that and we thought that was one of the weird things. And then all the other things that you just said. Uh, and so, so far, that sounds like a relatively uh, 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 innocuous explanation. So you're recording a talk show for yourself is what you're saying yeah i don't know if you've ever like watched tv late at night but there of are of course i have there are talk shows uh the tonight show late night with david letterman yeah. later with bob costas R yeah so you're just kind of having fun and you're just recording yourself in the in making a fun tape for yourself of what's going on well i mean it's not just for fun i'm just practicing because there's only three talk shows so you got to be the best of the best to, to get one of them. Sure. Yeah. What? We're not counting Donahue now? I, you said, are you been watching Donahue's Donahue all daytime week? daytime show. Uh, he's talking about late night shows. Donahue's a, the, uh, he's the master of the daytime talk show. It's a kind You're of right. different genre. Um, My apologies. You are absolutely correct. That's Look, right. Look, if someone said, Arnie, we're going to give you a talk show, but it's a daytime talk show. I would say No. Thank you. I'm a late night talk show guy. Lance, I wanted to know, did you get your name uh, because you are a jouster? Uh, no. I... So you've never ridden on a horse with a lance and, and, and struck down your enemy? Because if you have, I, oh. I, I we we have a lot to talk about. No, no. I no. Just, my parents just named me the, the, it's just a common name. I, I don't know. My parents named me Lance. Do you want to lance someone, Lance? No. You don't want to join a party of adventurers and heroes that want to defeat evil? Usador, I think he's already with a party of heroes. L look at his shirt. You're with the misfits, is that right? Oh, uh, uh n well, no, I'm not with them. It's just his shirt. They're a, they're a band. They're a music band. Oh, like a band of adventurers? Bards, even? No, no, no. They play music. They, they play yeah. songs, you know? Yeah, uh, and they hate Jim. What? The evil band on Gem and the Holograms? We are the Misfits. Our songs are better. Oh. Okay. No, that I think that's a different that's a different band with the same name, I think, is what's going on. Um 
No, they're, this is a different Misfits than that one. And Lance, uh, just to just to put it out there, and I, I don't even know why I'm saying that, um, clearly I'm just a tiny little kid wearing a, um, a skunk costume, so that explains me. Uh, do you need me to um, swallow my spoke so as not to blow it into the Meyer store? Because I can do that if need be. No, I mean, it's not a problem to, for smoking in here. Oh, oh great. Would you yeah. like a cigarette? Uh, I can't right now. I can't while I'm working. I can mm. I can have one on my break, but I can't while I'm working in here. So, but gotcha. thanks, thanks anyway. Uh, Lance, I'm trying to get more practice, like being a, a late night talk show host. Would yeah. Would you mind if we interviewed you? Could Could I ask you about like your life and your job? Uh, I mean, yeah, but um, look, I the manager Tom sent me over here because. You guys are definitely the weirdest crew we've seen all night, and Aww. he was concerned about what might be going on. He didn't know the, the tape recorder in your hand. He didn't know if that might be some other thing. We didn't know if you guys were, like, from Costco or something like that, and you're recording um, and, like, you know, uh, industrial espionage. So that's why I came over, just to figure out. And it seems like you guys are on the up and up. Uh, but I, I, I could do the interview on my break, but I can't do it right now. Oh, okay. Well, when is your break? It's in one minute. <laughs> one minute? Yeah. Uh. Why don't we go with you to where you're doing your job until that one minute is up, and then we'll talk to you for a little while. What do you need to do right now? Well, I mean, as you know, to get to the back entrance of the mire is roughly a quarter of a mile away from here. So by the time I get there, it'll be break time. So we can just head toward the back of the store, uh, past the sporting goods, and then past the automotive mm -hmm. stuff, and then past uh, the food area, past lingerie. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and move past. We could be walking while we do oh, this, guys. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh, you should, or, um when Lance mentioned lingerie, I think Arnie needs another book. Do you mind? Erotoro. <laughs> okay, and we're walking. Ooh, look at that. Uh, some sort of uh, hey, windshield wait. whipper. Hey, Usador, what did you just say? Erotoro. What's what is that? Is that oh, a it's band? A uh, no, it's a spell by which I can conjure a book out of nothing. What? It's I, magic. He's a mad, He's a wizard. I'm okay. a wizard. I'm a great and powerful wizard from another world, capable of great feats, unlike any you've ever seen. <laughs> he's from another world. Blah. He thinks it's interesting. That's crazy. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Uh, Wait, what, you don't believe me? You want me to prove it? If you can prove it, sure, but... I like whatever you're doing and saying regardless, but if you can prove that, that would be awesome. Very well, then. I shall do something. I, Arnie's told me I must keep a low profile, so I won't embarrass him. Yeah, don't turn the whole town into candy people like you did last week. Ooh, you sir, I think I know what to do. Here, up ahead in the food aisle. Uh, here, here's a packet of uh, squeeze its. So why don't I'm going to set those over here. Uh, why don't you squeeze them with your mind? Watch wait this. a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This seems like it's an act that you guys have planned out. I saw that guy who bends spoons on Carson last week, <laughs> and it was all an act. Like the spoons come pre-bent and everything like that. Wait. Why don't I pick what you have to do to or prove Or why don't you wizard? read your shirt? It says Misfits. What? Does it still? Yeah. Oh, shit, I did it wrong. Uh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, read it now. Well, uh, wait a minute. It says Miss Farts. <laughs> you did that? <laughs> I did that. Shit. Wow, now I want an all lady metal band that just farts. We are the Miss Farts. Our songs are better. Yes. That is but a small sample of my power, so know that if you do anything to upset me or to upset my friends here, there yeah. shall be dire consequences. I'm, yeah. All right, yeah, I'm not looking for a hassle or anything no, like no, that. No, no, okay. Wait, cool. all right, wait, I yeah. got an idea. We're here in the food aisle, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're in the 
pretzel section. This is the biggest aisle of pretzels I've ever seen. Right. You got up on the top shelf, you've got logs, pretzel logs. Mm -hmm. And there's pretzel rods. Yeah. There's the nuggets. Yeah. You got pretzel sticks. Mm -hmm. You've got butter twists. Yeah. You've got pretzel blobs. Mm -hmm. Earth is wild. Those are the waffle cut Mm -hmm. pretzels. These are the little nibblers. Mm. These are the big soft pretzels. I call that as my new nickname, little nibbler. And then you've got the uh, hard, dusty ones that the monks make. And then you've got big bag of pretzel dust. Now, that's all the pretzel variations that we seem to have. If you're really a wizard, doesn't it seem like maybe you could come up with a new pretzel variety? Oh, Oh, shit. We're oh, fucked. you think I cannot do this? I'm ho- I'm hoping that you can. Look to the very tippy top, where log was once atop the mountain. Now, pretzel trunks, even <laughs> larger than logs, Whoa. now sit atop. Shit. That's right. Usador, you're saving us from a boring world of only about a dozen different types of pretzels. Now there's one more kind. An even bigger kind. Yeah, and Lance, check this out. I- I'm magical too. Let me, uh, uh, here at the end of the aisle, grab this. I'm gonna turn into this guy. A, what is this? I'm gonna turn into a Dunkaroo. Uh, aha! How'd you do that? I'm a shapeshifter, so I can I can turn into, well, uh, I don't wanna say any animal. I can turn om- almost into anything. Name something. Oh my god. Uh, name anything? Anything in the world. Uh, all right. Hang on. It's just an animal or an object or anything. I'm trying to think of some. I'm trying to think of anything. All uh-huh. right. How about, how about a giraffe? Hold on. Let Lance do it. Lance uh, has got it. Okay. What if a you. Dog. A all dog. right. Okay. No, Lance. You can guys. change into anything that there is. Okay. That's right. Anything. So, Lance, you got it. You got um, my arm's up. My arm's no, up. I can't no, think you of one. let Lance do it. Lance, Lance has it, okay? It's okay. his okay. okay. All right. All right. Can all right. you. What yeah. if you changed. Uh-huh. Into, Uh can you change into okay a remote control? Oh boy, fuck! TV remote? Arnie, I don't know if I've ever seen one of those. I watched a lot of remote control this week. Uh, so you can turn into Ken Oberman or Colin Quinn or Kai Wuhe. Any of them, I think, would work. (laughs) I know which one I'd pick. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I think you conflated. Ken Ober, the host of Remote Control, with Keith Olbermann, the Sports Center host. It's That's a- what I'll do. I'll turn into a Doberman named Keith. <clears throat> bark, bark. My name's Keith. Ruff, ruff. Sports. Oh. Okay. All Good right. Dog. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Holy crap. You know, Usador, I have an idea. Remember last week you were saying that you wanted to use magic to make my life better? Yeah. Maybe there's a way that we can use magic to make Lance's life better. I mean, it's a, if he's agreeing to be interviewed by us, it's the least you could do. Like, Lance. Yeah. If you could have anything in the world, if you could do anything, what would you want? A record deal for my band. So you don't just wear shirts with bands on them. You're in a band yourself. That's right. I'm in my own. I'm in a band myself. Yes. Yeah, what and you said. What sort of music do you like to make? It's like, uh, it's like doom metal. Uh, it's a subgenre of heavy metal. It's not quite speed or thrash, but it's doom metal. Oh, very interesting. Mm. Uh, now, uh, you and your bandmates, you, uh, play lots of gigs, as they say, around the city, and you're working your way up? Or well, the, I mean, that's, that's the problem. It's kind of, when you're starting out, it's kind of hard to get any gigs at all. And then when you have a band with a name like Satan's Nutsack, like, no one wants to book you. And yeah. so kind of those are the main problems that we're dealing with. Yeah, I guess personally I'd go with Devil's Nutsack. Oh, I assume they didn't want to book it because they don't like meat replacement It just seems like, thanks to Tipper Gore, everyone's offended by just imagery and and anything dealing with the occult and and 
So it seems like it's just the the deck is stacked against us from the beginning. Well, I've seen a lot of commercials for the news that lead me to believe that there is a real problem with Satanism right now. I mean, just, what do you, well then what do you think, Arnie? What, is it a problem for you? Is it affecting your life? I mean, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was interested in trying out Dungeons and Dragons, but I don't know. I'm I am afraid of the devil. Yeah, and Arnie, last night you, me, and you, store we played with that Kawaii Jai board. Remember we summoned that ghost? Yeah, he's still following us. <laughs> uh, now, Lance, uh, it, it sounds yeah. like if if you'd like, I, I, I as Arnie said, we could make your life better. Would you like me to transform Tipagore into a great eagle that flies directly into the sun? I mean, I, I, I don't want to get involved in anything like that. That that seems like it could be against the law. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So I, I don't want my fingerprints on anything having to do with that at all. We, yeah, we if the keep, FBI we could walking. trace Tipper Gore turning into an eagle back to you, that would be big trouble. Be a mess. I'd be ruined. So oh. I, I don't want to do that. But okay. my, my break is already uh, a quarter of the way over. Let's keep moving on through, uh, move on past uh, the uh, hardware Potato section. Potato chip aisle. Potato chip aisle coming up next. Yep. And here is the corn chip aisle. Arnie, speaking of big trouble, as you mentioned, you still got to introduce me to Kurt Russell. You said you're close personal friends with him. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with Kurt Russell. Yeah, Lance, did you know Arnie knows Kurt Russell? Chunk, jealous, jealous, Lance. I mean, I would be jealous if that was real, but just by the way that he's talking, and because he's like a twelve year old or something, I, I think he's lying to impress you guys. Whoa, 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 I'm 13. I'm a teenager. Okay, yeah, but I was close. <laughs> you were, I mean, yeah. You were, yeah, you were pretty fair, close. pretty dead on. So wait, Arnie, you don't know Kurt Russell? No, okay, fine, I don't. I just wanted to impress you. And in retrospect, why am I trying to impress you by convincing you I know a famous actor that you don't even know who they are, but yeah, I lied. And I don't know David Leisure either. Well, that one I didn't care about. I mean, if you knew who David Leisure was, you would care. He's Joe Isuzu. <laughs> David Leisure also appeared on Empty Nest. Don't you remember watching that chunk? Oh, yeah. He was very funny. He was the nest, right? He was the nest, I think. <laughs> That's what I took away from it. What a scamp. Now, Lance, uh, is there some other way I could aid your band then? Perhaps I could... Um, create a giant dragon to appear at your shows to uh, stand behind you and breathe fire into the air to create a spectacle. I mean, that'd be cool, but w I think we would have to get like a major outdoor festival gig for that to even, you know, be plausible. The kind mm. of places we're playing is like, you know, uh, a, a bowling alley on music night or like a VFW hall when someone pays them off and, and rents it out or, you know, real tiny clubs. So, I mean, Dragon would be awesome, but, you know, we just don't have a, we don't have a gig big enough for that yet. A large outdoor musical festival. Hmm. I wonder if there's some way I could convince someone here upon Earth to start a giant music festival that encompasses all of the 1990s. I shall think upon this and get back to the lands. Yeah, oh, think good. about someone in your peripheral vision. Well, also, I would just saw on Entertainment Tonight that Woodstock, they're doing another Woodstock. Woodstock 98 is coming up. That's nine years from now. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Are you, I'm sorry, I transposed are you numbers. Dis <laughs> are you did. number we dyslexic? We we thought he was 31 when we first got here. Lance, uh, how do we say this? Um, well, you already know that we're magical. We know Arnie from the future. So in the future, Arnie falls into our world and and um, hosts a, a podcast, which uh, you, you probably can't wrap your head around right now. I still um, don't even know what that is. But, but older Arnie from the future has told us a lot of little factoids about Earth from the future. So... Could that be beneficial to you? Because we know all kinds of stuff about Earth and what happens in the future. Do you want to know the, the fate of Earth? Or do you have any questions about what goes on in Earth? Fate of Earth? I mean, uh, that, that might be a lot to wrap my 
my brain around. I mean, did as you know far that the Cubs win a World Series? Okay. I can believe a lot of stuff, okay? <laughs> the skunk turned into a dog for a minute, and Usador just invented a new pretzel <laughs> configuration, but come on, guys. <laughs> the Cubs are not going to win the World Series. <laughs> no, I swear, Future already says so. Usador, back me up. Oh, that's, yes. That's, no, that sounds no. like a timeline from Back to the Future 2. It came out in this very year. It comes out, I think, in a week or two. Have you gotten to see two in advance? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I have. My uh, dad works for AMC, and so I usually get to see a lot of the movies, you know, a couple of weeks before they premiere uh, because he gets the advanced copies and he has to, you know, project them and make sure everything's working right. Oh, wow. Arnie, advanced copies of movies? This guy should be your best friend. I know. <sighs> Lance, yeah, I, I think you're great. Your band, The Nuts, The Nutsack, right? Satan's Nutsack. Arnie, you have to, you, you're coming off too eager and too desperate. You have to neg him. Say, um, say something bad about him. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Hey, what's up with your hair? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean? What's Arnie, up with that? Arnie, no. <laughs> uh, do you got a problem with my hair? No, I mean it. It, it looks cool. It's just long, longer than yeah. I. I don't. You, I guess you don't see a lot of hair that long. I, I just. Everyone in my band has hair this long or longer. Why is your hair so short? Because your parents make you get it cut how Damn. they want it to be. Oh shit! He flipped it and reversed it. He's oh, so like, cool. It's also spot on in his observations. He's so fucking cool. Hair. Arnie, you got no chance with this guy. He's the coolest. I know. I want to be friends with him. I have entered the wizard's state, and while you were speaking just now, I reached out to the minds of some of the most influential songwriters and singers in all of the world of Earth, and I have planted the idea that they should create a new music festival called Hullabalooza. Ooh. Oh, okay. Impressed? Who do you want on drums? Philip Collins? Because you can get it. You, sir, create Philip Collins. I shall reach back through time, and I shall displace Peter Gabriel so that Phil Collins may exist. Yeah. I mean, he, he you, guys exists. Re- you guys remember you Phil mean? Collins now? We already did. He's, no, he's, I implanted it there. He wasn't there before. That's how powerful I am. Uh, let's keep moving. Okay, we got to get out back so I can have a smoke, and you can do this interview, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, right, right, right. All right, let's move on through the panties aisle. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Uh, here's uh, f- home furnishings, obviously. Wow, oh, so this is much nicer than the things in your house, Arnie. I've always thought it's weird that the home furnishings are so close to the panties here. It's so interesting, all the different panties they have. Panty rods, panty sticks, little dabbers, all kinds of panties. This store I has mean, everything. Yeah. Bags of panty dust. Usador, I mean... You already did it with pretzels. Do you think you could invent a new panty configuration? Sure. Just let me think for but a moment as I focus and concentrate. And now, here, let panties exist in the color of blue. There were never blue panties before. Wow, blanties. Good job, you sir. I did it. Okay. I thought the pretzel trunks were as cooler, but whatever. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. We're we're almost there. Okay. Uh, just got to move past the weapons section. Here oh, we what, what, how weapons? I need weapons to defeat the Dark Lord. Arnie, buy me some of these weapons. I only have seven dollars. How many weapons can I get for seven dollars? Ooh, Arnie, buy me this gun. Oh yeah, BBs. I want this um, BB gun. Seven bucks isn't going to get you anything. Uh, You could get a screwdriver. That's probably about it. And jab something with it. I shall. And I shall jab them until the evil does ooze from the airy pore. And no longer do they breathe. Okay. Uh, All right. Here's lawnmowers. Keep keep on moving. Keep on moving. Here's uh, plastic tarpaulins. Uh, We've got a... (laughs) Wide variety, uh, Meyer uh, services all of your shopping needs. There's no reason to go to any store other than a Meyer, obviously. Oh, oh, oh. 
I just got a mental message back from uh, one of the people I reached out to with my mind. I didn't even know that was possible. Perry Farrell says to me, I like the idea, but I want to change the name. Wait a minute. Perry Farrell from Jane's Addiction? You, sir, you're misspeaking. I said to check your peripheral, not your Perry Farrell. Uh, yes, well, it's true. Right now, I'm getting a mental message back from him. I, I don't know how this is possible. Uh, he is not a wizard. Or is he? And he has told me that he likes the idea, but he wants to change the name. He's gonna, he's gonna get it together. I, I, I created a festival for you to play in. I mean, if you can put in a good word with Perry Farrell, that would be amazing. That would really help us out. Satan's dick sack? <laughs> what even is a dick sack? What is that even? Back on Foon, uh, there are certain animals who have a dick sack. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's sort of a, a, a pouch where they keep their dick. Mm-hmm. And when they are excited, the, the pouch opens and reveals the beauty there inside. Yeah, it's hmm. like the opposite of a fanny pack. So some animals will keep their butt in a little pouch or a sack, zip it open, and then screw it on when they have to poop. This is uh, kind of the opposite of that. And then some creatures keep their vaginas in a pack, and that's a fanny pack. We're going to take a break, Lance. We'll be right back with your interview. Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. And we're back to the Arnie Neekamp show. Uh, buddy, buddy, why don't you bring it back from break? You got this. Oh, oh. Uh, hey, we're back on the Arnie Neekamp show. I don't forget that. to tune in. Oh, shit, here, I'll stop it and start it again. No, no, no. Are you going to do it, or, or was I going to do it? No, you, you take the reins. You got this. Okay, I'll start it and stop it again. Hey, welcome back to the Iron and Ecamp show. Oops, sorry, Don't I hit the button. Gema Knights, guys, we got to get this under control a little bit. Welcome back to the Iron and Ecamp show. We're here with Lance, and he's a cool guy with hair that I like, even though it's a little longer than to my taste. Arnie, he looks like that poster in your bedroom. Heather Locklayer? Uh, I guess so. So, Lance, you're a musician. Yeah. What do you think of Paula Abdul? Paula Abdul, I mean, she's hot, uh, and she's a really good dancer. I mean, her, her music's not really my style. It's kind of poppy, but I'm, I got no problem with her. <laughs> what do you think about that cartoon cat that she's partners with? DJ Scat Cat? Again, you know, it's not really my thing. Um, mm. but I bet for like someone your age, I, that's probably like the cartoon <laughs> is probably pretty cool. Damn, shots fired. I have no shame about it. I love scat and cats. Ooh, ooh, Lance, I have a question. Um, yeah. the other night, uh, the three of us, we watched Grease 2. H how much do you love Grease 2? Uh, is that, that's the one with Adrian Zmed in the lead <laughs> role? Um, and don't forget I mean, Joe Piscopo. Piscopo in it as well. I can't, I haven't seen it. I mean, it seems like they, it seems like with a lot of these sequels, they just don't have enough money to offer the the uh, star of the original, so they start scraping the bottom of the barrel, uh, and that's how you end up with Smed. Oh yeah, yeah. I I hated it too. Yeah, to, to, yeah. I didn't like. I I was joking when I said I liked it because I I didn't like it. It's it's like a horror movie about a forty five year old going back to high school with Joe Piscopo. It's dumb. I hate it. Is it a sequel? It's it's What's the sequel to Grease. Yeah. Ah, I see. So whenever there's a number in the title of a movie, that means yeah. it's a sequel. Oh. Or, the, or a, th a third or fourth or whatever. Uh, Arnie, why don't you tell us that? So Back to the Future is a sequel. So what's the first one called? Well, the first one is called Back to the Future. Well, no, there's a two in it. So what's the first one called? Back Future? Back One the Future? Arnie, why are you not? Uh, sorry, sorry, Lance, I'm so sorry about. Uh, I'm sorry. Arnie, you're being we, such a kid. You're being such a little kid. I'm not a kid. I'm a teenager. I'm a handful now. Ugh. Here, Lance, you want a cigarette, my man? Yes. Yeah. Please. Smoke them. Thank smoke them up. Smoke, smoke them if you got them. All right. Thanks. <laughs> just thanks, two friends. Chunk. Just two friends smoking. Yeah. Lance, tell us about your band a little bit. Like, what are what, like what? Are, how many songs? Do you write songs? Uh, um, I you know. I contribute to the songwriting. I play drums, so I'm not the main uh, songwriter, and I don't sing. I sing background vocals on some songs, but you're you like know, the Phil Collins of the band. Well, I mean, you're welcome. I mean, I get if that were to happen eventually, where 
I were to be the drummer slash singer, I mean, that, that would be a Phil Collins type move or a Don Henley type yeah. move. Um, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I love that. I can feel it coming in my hair tonight. He's so funny. His lyrics are so fucking funny. Oh, man. Yeah, I love Phil does Collins. He know what, Arnie, does he know what that means? I mean, I don't know what that means. Oh, man. <laughs> Usador, you know about dick sacks. Do you know yeah. what he just said? Yeah, I know what he just said. I think I might alter the past again so that Phil Collins writes some better lyrics to that song. Okay. <laughs> That's a fine I, idea. I, I know what he's talking about. He's talking about reproduction. Reproduction. I, I hate that dumb song. I, I guess I don't know that one, but... uh, oh, It's from Grease 2. It sucks. Of course, of course. But, you know, as far as the, the songs that we've got, we're kind of working on a concept album that's called uh, Trapped in Satan's Nutsack. Mm. And the idea is that all four of us in the band are trapped in Satan's nutsack. Um, and so we're sort of the his, Satan's uh, uh-huh. sperms and we're trying to get out of there. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of, that's what we're saying about and um, wow. Yeah, that's kind of what we're dealing with now. Oh, now, dude, and Lance, I get it because, you know, Satan's nutsack is, you know, small town Ohio and you're trapped in it, you know, and you're trying to get out, right? So it's almost like, it, it, it's almost like, uh, it's it, it's almost like, it's almost like, the it, uh, it's like y- you guys are trying to get out of small town America, quote unquote Satan's nutsack. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's really interesting. Like, that's like different levels, like different levels I, to the idea yeah. That you can just, you can just relate to you, relate it to your own life. I mean, we were just thinking of, of like the, co- the, the the fantasy concept of like literally being inside Satan's uh, nutsack. But yeah, I just I had my mind expanded recently because at Arnie's we got into his dad's cassette collection and we listened to The Wall, which is which is a mm-hmm. concept album as well, and it was so cool. And it was, it was like, every song was like a little story. Surprised me. I always thought the only cassette my dad had was Glenn Campbell's Greatest Hits, but apparently he also has The Wall. <laughs> I might have found it in your neighbor's car. Did you break into my neighbor's car again? If smashing a window and reaching into a car is breaking into a car, then yes, Arnie, you're being such a baby. Lance, I, I have a question about, uh, and this is purely about your concept album. Yeah. Uh, so um, when you, as uh, Satan's sperm, get out of Satan's nutsack, if, if you ever do that when he's sleeping, what does that mean? Whoa, wait a minute. That's a good idea. That's a good strategy because uh, you're talking about like a, like a wet dream, like Satan's wet dream. Whoa. Is that what, it, is that what it's that's called? That's like a... Yeah, that could be like the final song on the album. Would that be like a normal thing for Satan? To would that be like if if that was something that happened to Satan, that would be. Arnie, I mean, is, should he Satan's consult like, a doctor? No, Arnie, you're fine. <laughs> Satan's like a grown man, so it wouldn't happen to him. But like for like tweens or young teens, I guess it would be more common. But. Yeah, we've been banging our head against the wall about like what are the strategies of like, how can we get out of this nutsack, but we never really <laughs> thought about when he's asleep if just a adult man just had a wet dream uh, unexpectedly then that could be like the final song, like that could be the escape. Wow, Lance, I love that word you said, tween. Hey, Usador, can you um, create a band called Tween? Oh, sure, I can do that. Oh, wait, drop the T. And make one of their albums called uh, Chocolate and Cheese. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I hadn't heard of this Satan fellow until I came to Earth last week, and now I've only heard about him from one other source than you, Lance, and it's this elderly lady who says, Satan? Mm. So could you tell me a little bit more about Satan and why you're stuck in his uh, nutsack? Why did you Uh, choose Satan and not say... Um, Henry Kissinger. Wow. I just, well, I mean, we didn't really think about Kissinger. Kissinger's way less popular than Satan. Um, and just Hard d- isn't spell. just cool to look at or anything. So, mm. I mean, Satan is like, he's the ultimate, like he's the devil. 
he looks really cool and like hell looks awesome on an album cover there's like fire and like jagged you know um stalactites like everywhere and he's like the ultimate badass so that's kind of the idea i mean kissinger's like probably worse than the devil but he's just not as cool (laughs) oh i see i see so he's a different sort of evil but a less sexy evil yeah 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 that's good okay yeah my follow-up question is if you're being so literal about getting out of the nutsack ripping out of a literal nutsack really isn't that hard it's just a thin layer of skin you can just rip right through there yeah we've i mean we've discussed that but we don't have any hands we don't we don't have any Mm. way of ripping out right Um. because you're just a sperm with a tail yeah I, i have a question about the concept album uh could that happen could the sperm just rip out of the nutsack? Is that like it's a thing okay, to honey. worry right. about? I don't know. I I don't think I don't think you have to worry about that. No, I don't think so. Thanks, Lance. Yeah, it's, yeah. You, you should, Lance. You sh- you and your band should do fun stuff like that on stage, like rip out of a nutsack and stuff. Because Arnie yeah. told us about this band called GWAR, and they have all these antics on stage where they like they'll like dismember a cow and then like they'll they'll like sit down and rip off their legs and then try and crawl around like they're wild. You ever heard of GWAR? Are you a fan? Do you mean GWAR? Yeah, that's what I said. Arnie, you idiot. I don't know. I just read about him. Don't make us look like an idiot in front of Lance. You made me look like an idiot. I'm sorry, Lance. I'm uh, I'm sorry. I have so many more questions for Lance about how sperm works. Well, Arnie, follow up on that instinct. This this will be your first interview. So so interview Lance about sperm and about whatever else. Start with his life. When he was sperm, start with when he was created. So where uh, was he? When was he born? Where was he born? Uh, Lance, where are you? Are you from around here? Uh, no, I, I grew up in Colorado. Um, and then, uh, so my parents got divorced and my dad uh-huh. just got remarried and he got a new job at the, uh, at, with, uh, uh, Amico headquarters. Uh, and so we moved here a few years ago. So, so Arnie, do something with that. I don't know how to have follow up questions about issues like divorce. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, are you okay, uh, uh, Lance? Are you okay? Do you need a hug or anything? What? <laughs> no. What? Do you, I know, like from what I've seen, I, I saw the movie Irreconcilable Differences, and so I know that you might worry <laughs> that it's your fault that your parents. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. That you might think it's your fault about your parents, but the upside is you might get to see Sharon Stone's boobs. Um. I mean, uh, no, I'm not worried that I caused the divorce. Uh, I, of course, I'd like to see Sharon Stone's boobs. I mean, who would not? But yeah, um, we all want to. It's just basic instinct. Yeah, because that's uh, probably as much as we'll ever see. Uh, I mean, agreed. I guess I, I don't know what you're talking about, uh, in this year. But uh, <laughs> I'm just talking. No, I mean, my parents got divorced because my dad started. Uh, dating someone who was two years older than me um and my mom found out and that was it was over obviously so it it made sense that they were going to get divorced uh so you know i'm i'm not concerned that i caused it no was your dad upset when he he found out how young his girlfriend was he was not he wasn't surprised by it no he knew he knew how old she was oh Arnie, uh, say like a, a fun catchphrase, like shit happens or something like that. Um, uh, that's the news and I am out of here. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's the Dennis Miller sign off. <laughs> oh, um, I'm sorry. I, he's just someone I really like and, and I feel like I'm always going to like him. Oh, no. Uh, Lance, uh, if you could get this album completed... And you could create this uh, concept as you as you have envisioned it. What do you imagine would happen next for you in the band? How how do you want to evolve as artists? What what do you think is in the future for you? You're laying a lot on my plate, Usador. I mean, it's like one step at a time. We're just trying to like get a gig, get sure. get the record made. Like someone, you know, sign with a label. Like make any money at all you know i'm working here because i'm just trying to save up money to get a new drum set but 
Well, yeah. uh, well you, at least you and your bandmates, you all get along, and you're all uh, working creatively together well, I assume. Yeah, I, I mean, as, as well as you can. I mean, we're doing okay. We have fights and shit, but, like, who doesn't, right? What do you have fights over? Uh, it's just lyrics, the direction of the band, like, what should our stage show look like? Uh... I Can I hear one of the lyrics s- that you guys fought over? Like the different variations? Uh, let me think. Let me think I, bet, I bet your song. version was the best one, Lance. Well, I mean, that's one of the issues. Like, I, I don't really contribute to the lyrics very much, you know? I'm just considered like, you know, I'm the guy who plays the drums. That's about it. So I, I'm, uh, I'm not doing as much creatively. And, mm-hmm. I, you know, I don't even know if I should be. I, I don't think I'm the the best at that stuff i mean our lead singer is fucking great uh his name is uh jake lava and jake lava you're friends with jake lava yeah he's the lead singer wow i mean all the older kids at school just always talk about how cool jake lava is do you go to school with his younger brother devin yeah devin lava devin lava i go to school with him He's not as cool as Jake. He's got all these weird ideas about what you can do with a couch. Is that the mm. weird guy who's been stalking me and dressing like me? Yeah, he's the one that keeps saying, here, couch, couch, couch. Well, Usador, Usador. Yes, what? I'm, I think I'm getting to the root of what Lance's problem is and how you can make his life better. That was our goal, right? It was to, like, help him out with magic, like, enrich his life. Right, right. He's I a should... drummer with no confidence. Who has the most confidence as a drummer? Philip Collins. Give him the hair of Philip Collins. Quick, do it. Very well. What are you doing? I have granted thee the scalp of Philip Collins. Whoa! You're welcome, buddy. Now what you the have the confidence. Fuck? <laughs> now you can feel it coming in the air tonight. Usador, you fucking asshole. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I think it I'm looks kind of nice. Turn it back. Turn it back. Yeah, change it back. This is yeah. insane. All right, all right, all right. It's all right. I'll, I'll change it back if that's what he really wants. But Lance, change think, it back. I think you're missing out here. You, you, you could be at the beginning of this bald wave. Oh, God. You're gonna, Thank you're you. gonna feel like an asshole when Shaq shows up. Shaq? Yeah, the right. Basketball player at Louisiana State <laughs> University? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the guy. I don't know how he enters into this at all, but listen, what makes Phil Collins so powerful is his drumming. He's he's a he's a star in spite of his hair, not because of it. Mm. Oh, I misunderstood. Drums. He doesn't have drums, but Usador, you could use your magic to swap Lance's body with Jake Lava. Then he can be the cool lead singer. Oh, that's brilliant. Arnie, we, we solved it. You store, do it quick. No time to overthink it. Ta-da, ta-da, catch. Yanta. There you go. You're welcome. What did you do? You have the body of Jake Lava now. I mean, I, I, I didn't ask you to do that. Why did you immediately check the dick? <laughs> he just had to be sure. <laughs> You wouldn't check out Jake Lava's dick if you turned into Jake Lava? <laughs> Look, Arnie, Arnie and Chunk have been giving me ideas about how to help you, and I just want to help you. If you don't think these things will help you, here, I'll undo the body, and I will throw it up the pot But uh, what do you think would help then, Lance? Yeah, you want us to turn you into candy? No. Yeah, we can turn you into candy. Look, I'm happy playing drums in this band. The, the band rocks, man. Uh, I don't have any problem with myself or my drum playing or anything. It's just, like I said before, we need a we need some kind of a boost, some kind of a head start to to make people know about the band. So I should make your arms four times as big. I mean, four times as, like longer. Oh, I was just, just thinking larger. But if you want them four times longer, you could you could play drums from very far away. No, that's not gonna work. But like, okay. if you could make my arms like more jacked that actually could help out my drumming like so, it'd be more powerful so wait on earth bigger equals longer so the band mr big is really mr long or wide it's hard to say huh lance i shall grant thee this boon from now on 
Your arm shall always be perfectly toned. Even if you ne'er lift another weight as long as you live, you shall have arms so powerful that if misused, you should most assuredly crush a small animal's skull without even barely applying any pressure. Would you consider changing your name if you had such strong arms? Wait, did they... Usador, did he cut you off? Did that did that go through or what? Because my arms feel the same right now. Ah, uh, yes, but try to pick up one of those pretzel trunks. Whoa! I'm totally jacked. That's right, Lance. My arms feel like Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> you picked up that pretzel trunk like it was a bag of pretzel dust. Yeah, Lou Ferrigno, that's a great fake name. Like Arnie was saying, maybe since you're now, you know, changing your appearance a little bit, Maybe now's a great time to invest in a new name. Uh, Louis Ferrigno is a great one. What? Arnie, what are you teaching these guys? They don't even know who Lou Ferrigno is? Well, look, I spent a lot of time explaining to them who Bill Bixby is, but I haven't gotten to the other stuff. Oh, the man from Atlantis. Oh, and Arnie, I'm sorry. Future Arnie tells us about Lou Ferrigno's. It's the best pizza in Chicago. Ooh, what's another fun name? Uh, Travis Berker or Dave Gruel. Those are fun drummer names. I like the name Lance, it seems cool, but now that you've got these strong arms? Lance Mighty Bicept. You know, I mean, I wouldn't mind having a different last name, you know, why do I have to get stuck with my dad's name? He's, you know, not that great. Oh, what's your dad's last name? It's just Jacobs. Lance Jacobs. It's kind of boring, you know? Huh. Lance Jacobs. Nope, nothing. <laughs> I mean, what if it was like Lance Steel? Oh, wait, you have big arms, right? Your arms are strong. Your name is Lance, and your arms are strong. Do you get what I'm saying? Your name is Lance, your arms are strong. Lance Collins. Lance Collins? I mean, that's better than Jacobs anyway. Yeah. yeah Can you make and- that happen? Well, you could, I, yeah, you can change your name. I don't, I don't have to be involved in that part of it. Just, just tell people that's your name. Oh yeah. yeah. And, and tell them you live strong. Okay. Well, but Usador, could you just like do all the paperwork right now? So I don't have to like go down to city hall and do all that stuff. <sighs> yes. I'll conjure the paperwork and I'll do it myself. Yeah. I down. like how you magically made all the paperwork appear, but now you're filling it out. Well, I don't like to break the law. I'm going to sit here and fill out this paperwork. Collins. What's your address? Uh, uh, 1524. What's your favorite color, Lance? Black. Probably black. Yeah, yeah, mine too. Yeah. Look at my coloration. Uh, I'm black and white. 1524, black and white. No, no, uh, uh, 1524 County Line Road uh, is my address. Hey, Lance, I, um, we got to go because... And what's the zip? Arnie, what's the zip here? I still don't remember after four years Oh, you're from later. Colorado, yeah. 45840. You guys go on with the interview. This is going to take a little while. And hey, Lance, we, we got to go. We promised Arnie's parents um, we'd bring him back by seven. They're not, I guess, comfortable with him hanging out with us nonstop. But they have been very nice and let us sleep on the couch. Um, but, I, Lance, it's so nice to meet you. You're the coolest. And I, I got to ask, are you going to write a song about us? I mean, like I said, I don't do much of the songwriting, but, you know, this could be some serious inspiration. You, sir, quit playing that pinball machine. The the wizard and the skunk. Yeah, and the wizard keeps playing that pinball machine. Stop playing that pinball machine. It'd be really useful for me uh, if you came up with a song that had your social security number in it. (laughs) Uh, it's five 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 five. Oh, you're so lucky. That's so easy to remember. <laughs> yeah. And hey, Lance, I'm sorry. We, we, we probably kept you on your break too long. Uh, in case your manager asks you and, and you might get fired, just blame it on the rain. Okay. You know, because it was raining. So blame it on the rain. Yeah. All right. Uh, does, it, does that make sense? Yeah. It's a Millie Vanilli song, oh, obviously. Shit. <laughs> Um, but it it hasn't been raining in hours. Uh, listen, if I get fired, Usador, you can fix that, right? Oh, uh, certainly. Uh, I can have uh, the manager uh, killed by crows. Oh. Uh, 
Imagine, no. imagine a rain of crows coming down and pecking out the eyes of the manager who had the audacity to fire you from your job. And then they lift up his body and carry it out over the parking lot where they do drop it for it to be smashed into small little pieces. Wouldn't that make you feel better? I mean, that would be awesome, but uh, just something tells me it's a bad idea. It's so... If you could just magically make it so that I'm I'm not fired in case I get fired, like that'll be fine. You don't even need to kill him. I that's actually one of the few things I can't do. What I can do is I can magically make the uh, forms appear to uh, reapply for the same job, and I'll start filling those out. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's that's good. Lance. Lance, thank thank you for being so patient with us and and answering all my questions about how Satan's sperm would work, especially. All the ones I also asked during the break, you know, thank you for not laughing at me about my uh, concerns about your music uh, uh, and if it was normal. Have you ever um, been convicted of a felony? Uh, yeah. Convicted? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, good fill in. <laughs> a little more detail about that. I think I have to fill out this, uh, this text area now. I'm just realizing I'm a terrible interviewer. Well, you know, it's like anything else. You just got to practice a lot. That's how I got good at drums. You just got to practice interviewing a whole bunch. I'll just write in practice, practice, practice. Lance, here, take this. Here's seven dollars. It'll go towards your drum. You said you need a new drum set. I don't know how much drum sets cost. Uh, like eight hundred dollars. So what? Yeah. Eight hundred dollars? Yeah, and we don't even carry him here at Meyer. Oh, is money the only thing you need? Well, yeah. Well, here, give me one of those dollars that Arnie just gave to you. Okay. And I shall replicate it. Oh, 800 times. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go, 800 one dollar bills. Can't be an easier way than that. These have your face on them, <laughs> Usador. They... You can spend them anywhere. No, you can't. You, it has to be legit money, okay? On a one, it's It even says Washington. right next to the one. It says one. One money. I can't use these. I mean, I appreciate the effort, but I can't... This isn't helping me at all. All right, fine. Here, you can have the the, the original one back. Great. That's that's seven dollars. That's it's the best we can do. All right, I'll, I'll take it. I uh, appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you, Lance. You, you, you take care. You have a good night. Yeah, all right. You too. Hey, you guys, uh... You guys are a pretty cool crew, all right? Oh, uh, well, thank I'll, you. I'll see you again if you if you come back into the store. You you at a citizen? Yeah. Okay, good. Just just filling out this one. Oh, Lance, before you go, do you want us to change your shirt back to saying misfits? Um. Too bad, sucker. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Bye, Lance. Thank you. We'll definitely be back. This is a really boring town, and I don't have much to do or no hold that many friends. In fact, I'll be back tomorrow, so I'll talk to you then. <laughs> ah, you'll have that misfought shirt forever. Wow, guys, that was fun, but uh, I never realized how hard it is to help someone with magic. It's like he didn't want to be helped. Fly, my crows, fly. Find the manager. You know, we're not actually seeing the freeze frame with credits playing over it to that music, but it's real easy to picture, isn't it? You've been listening to a cassette tape from 1989 being played in place of a show called Hello from the Magic Tavern, a title that now seems both tenuous and lazy. Use It All the Wizard was played by Matt Young. Chunk the Cool Skunk was played by Adol Refai. Lance Jacobs was played by special guest Paul Britton. Some guests, they don't need any biographical material. They're just that cool. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adol Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Earwolf producer, Kimmy Lucas. This episode edited by Garrett Schultz. Special assistance, AKA the cilantro in the burrito, AKA highly divisive, was provided by Ryan DeGiorgi. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Special 1989 theme music by Andy Poland. 
Don't like this high concept string of episodes? Keep those angry letters coming, cause I got one hungry waste paper basket. And what has two thumbs and likes to ball up pieces of paper and shoot baskets like a bored journalist in the 70s waiting for a lead? This mysterious guy. Also, I only have two thumbs after molting season. This was time well spent. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spin-offs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.